All right, so this is going to be another Factory Talk Site Edition quick tip. Now, uh, we're going to talk about global objects and the definitions of between the two. So there's two different type of global objects that can be used. Now, generally speaking, you're only going to run into one of these, but if you do run into the other one, I want you to be quite aware of it and how to use it so that you can actually be fluent in what you're doing and easily troubleshoot something or either find a tag and be fluent in your HMI system. Okay, so this one I'm going to talk about is going to be using the global objects without global parameter definitions. This specific application, right, this specific global object is going to be one where you actually, to be able to pass the parameters, you're going to use tag substitution. Okay, now this is where you're going to, uh, when you use this, you're going to just simply just drag and drop it. You're going to basically control, grab what you want and then drag and drop it. And then you would do tag substitution from this point, and then that's how you would actually use that. Now, 90% of applications are built upon the other version, which is just merely loading in parameters, which is a very simple, easy process to use. Very easy, right? So when it comes down to it, that's the second version of the actual global objects so the this global object is using with global parameter definitions meaning all we have to do here is understand what are the definitions that need to be actually relayed or transmitted to get the system working for to pass the parameters from one screen to another screen or to from the the screen to the device for that matter right so this is just an, an understanding of which are you using and to understand um, if you're using the one without global parameter definitions, just so happens you if you are or not, you would understand that right here, uh, you would just merely use tag substitution. On the counter side, on this side, all you would do is load in the parameters uh, for the definitions, which is what we're using right here. And I'll show you this working right here. You can see the screen, it's currently working, and everything is working properly. Now this one is again using the global object parameter values. Real simple, real easy to understand, like all of these on this screen. I will say that 90% of uh, applications use this. Matter of fact, let's hop on over to another VM and let's show you Plant PAX. So in the Plant PAX environment, they actually use the exact same thing. Okay, so let's go over here and let's go into this right here. Let's go to edit base object. If we look at edit base object, they're using the, um, the ones with definitions. So what they're going to do is you're going to just load in the definitions that they specify. Okay, they do specify certain uh, um, de definitions that they absolutely need to get the actual object to work. And again, one of them would be the tag value. This is the tag value. The other, generally speaking with global, with uh, plant PAX especially, now again, you may or may not be using that, but again, when it comes down to it, plant PAX itself um, is calling for the position that you would like to call that, that specific screen up. Uh, the next portion would be, uh, again, saying, would you like the quick screen or would you like the normal screen? Let's give an example of that. So with being that we had this pulled up, let's look at what's actually loaded in these two. So this one right here shows the tag value, right? So it gives the the actual um, shortcut, the PLC shortcut that we're currently using, right? So that's the HMI shortcut from the HMI, uh, which would be the factory talk links or RS links enterprise. The, the shortcut you have set up there that is talking to the PLC file talk to the PLC processor and then the tag name right so that's what they have in and uh, 102 right here now 120 uh, uh, is just a position on the screen that they want that pop-up to pop up and then 10 uh, 121 is again another position uh, they don't they haven't have any value in that one and then when it comes up to it, 122 would be using the small screen or the big screen. Do they want the big pop-up or the small pop-up? There's two specific, in Plant PAX, there's two specific ones. Now, I'm not showing you this for the instance of showing you the, what you're using in Plant PAX or what you're using in different environments. I'm showing you this 
to merely say, understand which two you're using, right? Are you using the actual ones without global parameter definitions? If you are, use tag substitution. Okay, if you are, if you're using the ones with parameter definitions, then you want to actually just fill out the parameter definitions as they have specified, and the system will work as accordingly. So again, when it, all that said, again, this is another quick tips from Factory Talk Site Edition just to kind of help you out and just show you, um, get you more familiar with what's going on as far as inside of your application and be more general specific to kind of give because I don't know exactly what, which uh, HMI system you're working with. If you developed your own global objects, um, you know, you could be using both of these or you could be using one, right? So it's better to understand which one you're using and it's better to understand how to use those as well. So hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you guys on the next one.